Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome back to Minecraft. Alright, it's been a really long time since I've recorded anything on this vanilla world, and uh, that's because I thought I lost it. Um, I switched out the hard drives in my computer a while back, and um, yeah, I was having, I thought that I had lost this. I couldn't find it. Well, I was doing a little bit of searching last night or the night before, and I ended up finding it. So I fired it up, uh, updated it to version 1.8.4, and here we are. It's all good. So I've done, a, I did a few things last night. Um, I went around and I searched, I, we didn't have any acacia saplings, I noticed. So I traveled, I think about, I don't know, about 2,000 blocks that way and stumbled across some acacia saplings. So I grabbed some, grabbed some wood, and I went ahead and planted them over here. Now I remember talking about uh, we wanted to finish this little pathway over here and stuff. And um, I kind of didn't really know what to do with it. So I just planted a bunch of trees around it. And I think that looks kind of cool. It gives it kind of a nice woodsy vibe. But then you get over here, and then, um, yeah, the path goes all the way to the edge <clears throat> over here. Now, the reason we were building this path is because up there uh, is our little mining outpost, so we need to build a bridge across here eventually um, and continue the path up to the little mining uh, outpost up there. But, uh, yeah, this is what we have so far. It's not too shabby. Go ahead and eat. All right, so there's a couple other things I want to show you guys, and I'll go ahead and, like, recap uh, pretty much what we have around here. Um, Alright, so here's the base, obviously. I'll show you this <clears throat> after I show you all the other stuff. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to go around and I actually have some ready, some jack-o'-lanterns. I want to go around and take take down all these torches that are outside <clears throat> and replace them with uh, jack-o'-lanterns. So I'll do that here in a second. So yeah, over here we've got our carrot field. Over here we've got our potato field. Um, we've got some a sheep farm over here. Just your basic sheep farm, pig farm, <clears throat> cow farm over here. Got our wheat fields over there. Um, nothing too extravagant. Over here we have the automatic chicken cooker. Now what this thing does is, there's a, hold on, <laughs> getting a little crazy here. <clears throat> Let's turn them down a little bit. Alright, so up there we've got uh, full grown chickens. I, don't, I can't tell you how many there are up there, I'm not entirely sure. Alright, we are back. Uh, sorry about that, I had to shut my uh, window. A bunch of, it's like raining outside and there's a bunch of cars driving by and stuff, making all kinds of noise. But anyway. We've got uh, a bunch of full-grown chickens up there, and they lay their eggs, and the eggs go into this dispenser here. The dispenser then shoots the eggs out and hopefully hatches them into another chicken. So once the baby chickens are here and they grow up, uh, they touch the lava, it kills them. Their cooked chicken comes down here, and their feathers come down here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We can also switch this to where now when these, the, the group of chickens up there, once they lay their eggs, they just stay in this dispenser. They don't actually shoot out. But uh, I'll go ahead and leave it on, because, you know, why not? Alright, so now over here we have our automatic uh, sugar, car, sugar cane factory. So yeah, as you can see, there it is. These pistons move back and forth and extend. And as you can see, it's not the most efficient thing in the world. But, uh, you know, we do have quite a bit of sugar cane, so it's not a big deal. We're not hurting for sugar cane. And it looks like it's getting dark, so go ahead and speed this up. <clears throat> Alright, now another thing I noticed that we were missing were, was cactus. Uh, we didn't have any cactus, so, uh, let's see, I think I went this way to get the cactus. I, I can't remember, it might have been the same way as uh, from when I got the acacia saplings. But, uh, alright, so what I want to do, actually let's go ahead and sleep, because there's a couple things I want to do around here uh, before I show you uh, one of the other things I did last night. So let's go ahead and sleep the night away. Alright, so we're going to need some... First, I want to plant some more acacia saplings. Let's just grab five of those. <clears throat> yeah, I want to start planting some so, just so I can harvest the wood and stuff. So let's go ahead and go over here to our tree planting area. <laughs> Designated tree planting area. And we'll just plop all five of these down. And just let them grow. Alright, so right, let's grab this shovel. I did... Uh, make a new shovel last night. It's Unbreaking 3 Silk Touch 1 Efficiency 3, which is actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Alright, so if you guys remember, uh, this is the mine shaft. This goes down to our, our very first strip mines and stuff. Well, I made a water drop right here, and I'll show you why. Boom. Alright, so what I wanted to do was, this is where we come down. Uh, this is where the, the stairs are to our mine shaft, or our mi uh, strip mine, I guess. Like right here. Well, what I want to do is I want to make a drop. 
like so we don't we can get rid of all these stairs uh, so we don't see them just a drop down here and it's gonna take us to this minecart right so if we get in the minecart and hit the button uh, I did all this stuff last night this will take us to the skeleton spawner if you guys remember that um, I can't remember what episode that was in obviously one of the previous ones but anyway so we get out here um, and yeah here's our skeleton spawner right here so we just stand here the skeletons come drop in there I think I've got some yeah I've got some splash potions of healing uh, you just throw that on them and yeah it'll kill them so yeah <laughs> so let's check out the chest let's see we've got a full chest of bones there some bones arrows arrows tons and tons of arrows some bows some armor and these are uh, all empty I believe I just added these last night because I knew we were going to need some more storage. So, anyway, let's head back. <laughs> yeah, I want to figure out how to... Uh, I want to make some sort of an elevator going up. Um, so I can get rid of these stairs. And I was thinking maybe like a mine minecart elevator. Or something like that. I think that might be kind of cool. Yeah, and it could just be right here. This Okay, there's I have two separate drops. Uh, one of them I need to cover up. So, I'll show you like where the main drop is that I want to keep. It's just right over here. It's actually in water, which is kind of a pain, but um, I think I took care of most of it. Um, I've got like a little basic path going down to it. Still need to gussy this up a little bit, make it look nice. But yeah, here is a, a drop off right here. This is the where I'm going to have it actually drop off. So it's going to drop off there. You can get in the minecart, go right to the skeleton spawner. Uh, don't have to worry about stairs anymore. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty quick. I think that's pretty cool. So, alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of some of these torches on the outside, and uh, replace them with the jack-o'-lantern. So, I will bring you back as soon as I'm done. Alright guys, we're back, and I think I took care of most of the torches. There's still, you know, some torches around the perimeter of this thing. I haven't done that yet. But, uh, yeah, out here, there's no more torches. Looks pretty good. So, yeah, just randomly, I have uh, some of these jack-o'-lanterns cover covered up by some leaves. Oh! Looks like we got a straggler here. Oh, and another one. How did I miss those? All right, I'm going to have to go get a jack-o'-lantern and fix that real quick. But yeah, for the most part, I think we're done, and I think it looks pretty good um, all around here. Back here, it's a little bit darker. I didn't really focus on this side as much. I just put a couple out there, so hopefully that'll be all right for us. Okay, so what I want to do now is, first off, I noticed that I don't have my bow on me, which is kind of worrying. I'm not really sure where I lost it at. I'm assuming it's probably down in the skeleton spawner though. So I'm going to head down there, I'm going to grab my bow, uh, I'm going to get a bunch of levels, and um, yeah, I want to repair my, I think I have a couple pickaxes upstairs I need to repair, and I want to repair that axe. So actually, let's just go ahead and run, even though we're going to have to run all the way back because I don't have another minecart. We should probably make a chest and uh, put a couple minecarts in there, or... We just put some minecarts in our uh, ender chest there. Uh, either way, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm just going to go uh, AFK here for a little bit and uh, let a bunch of skeletons build up. And um, yeah, I'll bring you guys back as soon as, uh, as soon as I'm ready. All right, guys, we are back. And I went ahead and found my bow. Uh, it was in this chest here where I keep all the enchanted drops that I get. I must accidentally put it in there for some reason. But uh, all right, so let's grab a splash potion of healing. Now, I was only AFK for probably... I don't know, like 10 minutes or so, not too awful long, but, uh, well, let me see. Okay, that does have looting on it, so we're going to toss this potion and switch to our looting sword real quick, and that should uh, give us more drops. So, um, all right, there we go. Bam. All right. Getting all kinds of XP and all kinds of uh, <laughs> bones and all kinds of other crap. So let's go ahead and clear this out. Looks like we got some stragglers. Let's go ahead and just kill them manually. Might as well. Alright, so it looks like we got a bunch of crap. Alright, so what are we at? Uh, level 25. I still need a few more levels, so I'm going to go ahead and let this build up again. In the meantime, let's go ahead and drop some of this stuff off. Um, Alright, so here's the chest with the regular bows. Need to combine those and stuff. Um, and this is the... Okay, that's mine. There we go, and we got armor. Where's the armor? Right here. So we're keeping gold. We're getting rid of all the leather stuff. We're keeping pretty much everything else. For now. We'll probably start getting rid of some of the other stuff eventually. So uh, let's go ahead and 
break this, and then uh, that's where I just toss stuff <laughs> that I don't want. Right there, and then cover it back up. Out of sight, out of mind. Alright, so now we need to drop off some bones. There we go. Alright, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let this build up. I want to get uh, to level 30, and then uh, we can start taking care of some of that stuff. <clears throat> like fixing the axe and uh, repairing some of the other tools that are upstairs. So, let's see what we have in here, actually. Oh yeah, here's a sword that I made um, last night. It was a brand new sword, and I threw a level 30 enchant on it. And it gave us knockback 2, sharpness 3, unbreaking 3, fire aspect 2, and looting 3. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. That's a pretty nice sword right there. So alright. Um, we're going to need to make some more of these splash potions of healing. <clears throat> Probably do that when we get back upstairs. Alright. Probably not enough to get, uh, to get 5 more levels. So I'm going to go AFK again just for a little bit and I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, we are back and I hit level 31. I just w wanted to uh, show you guys like kind of how bright it was out here, oh, even without all those torches. So yeah, I think this is going to work out really well. Um, I just need to do it, uh, <laughs> let's see, I need to do it a lot more like over here by where the trees are and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, I'm level 31 now. I should be able to repair that axe. I kind of want to see like what I would get on a, wow, I'm getting a little bit of a frame rate issue there. Uh, I kind of want to see what I would get. Oh, look, okay. I guess this is the only pick I need to fix, really. I kind of want to see what I would get on a fresh uh, enchant. Um, what are these swords? Okay, they're not that great. Got a bunch of diamond picks. Okay, those are cool. Alright, so, actually, you know what? Let's, um, I'm going to grab some diamonds. Do I have sticks on me? No, I do not. Let's grab some sticks. Alright. I got lapis up here already, so... Alright, first, let's see what we're going to get uh, on a book enchant. I'm, I'm just curious. I want to see what I'm going to get on a level 30. Um, let's see. Sharpness 3. Eh. Alright, let's go ahead and make... Um, we've got tons of picks. We don't really need picks. Uh, we could try for like a... Um, we could do another sword, I guess. We've got tons of swords, though. Let's do, it, let's do another axe. Or maybe even a shovel. Let's build both. Let's do an axe and a shovel, and we'll see what we get on uh, both of those. All right, so the shovel, Fortune 3. We don't really need a Fortune 3 shovel, and we don't really need a Fortune 3 axe. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, might as well just make a pick, get Fortune 3 on it. Um, where'd my lapis go? There it is. So Fortune 3, boom, there we go. Fortune 3, uh, Efficiency 4, not bad. Kind of wish there was uh, unbreaking on it, but that's fine. All right, so efficiency two unbreaking. Okay, so we'll uh, actually we'll use that axe to repair this axe. Let's see how many diamonds this is going to cost to fix. One, two. We can re completely repair it with two diamonds. Um, that's probably the better way to go. Three levels, efficiency four. Um, I'm thinking like, do I even really need to uh, fix it all the way? Because I mean, it's it's only like halfway done. All right, let's check the pick, because that is a very good pick. One, two, oh my god. Okay, so that must have been one of my uh, early picks. So we're going to need a bunch of levels for that. How many levels was that? Three diamonds and 34 levels. Yikes. Um, where is... I could have swore I made a pick, right? Oh yeah, I enchanted it already. Duh. All right. Well, crap, we're going to need a bunch more levels in order to fix that pickaxe, but I, I want to do it. Uh, so 34 levels, <laughs> all right, I'm going to go back down there, uh, grind away for a little bit, and uh, we'll repair that pickaxe. And that's probably the last time we are going to be able to repair that pickaxe, and then it's going to be it's going to be done for. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I'll, I guess I'll just wait um, to repair the axe, since we don't really need it just yet. It's still got like half durability. But uh, all right, so I guess I'm going to do this for a little bit, and I'll bring you guys back once again. Alright guys, we are back and I've got 34 levels and we are ready to repair this pick here. So, one, two, three. There we go. Now, this is probably the last time we can fix this pick because it's going to get crazy expensive. So, yeah, I'll do it. It's always good to have uh, Efficiency 5 Unbreaking 3 picks on hand. Uh, they make great work picks. So, alright, now that we're down to zero levels now, um, let's... Ah, oh, crap. 
I'm going to go upstairs uh, in, back to the base, and I'm sorry if you can hear that car driving around outside. But uh, we're going to go upstairs. I'm going to make some more potions uh, to bring down there. And, um, yeah. Oh, you know what, guys? Let's uh, let's go check out the spider spawner. I forgot about the... Uh, I made a, uh, a cave spider spawner. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm going to check it out real quick. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, hello. How'd you... Where, what? Where'd this guy come from? All right. So, yeah, all we got to do is uh, follow the the stone slabs here and that should take us right to the cave spider spawner it's not too far away I just kinda wanna check it out I remember spending uh, quite a bit of time on it making it look pretty cool and yeah okay so here's the hallway to it uh, it's unfinished of course and then we head in here and here's where the magic happens so yeah there's the spawner and yeah there we go it's working <laughs> holy crap uh, this switch right here turns it on and off um, I think it completely turns it off. I'm not sure. It might still spawn. It looks a little dark in there, but I'm not sure. Um, oh well, either way. So we'll just leave that off. Let it spawn. Let it do its thing. Let me come over here. And down here, this is the main area. So if we open up the gate, let the spiders funnel in. Um, let a bunch of them build up. Well, I guess three is fine. We hit this button here. That'll take them down to half of a heart, I believe. And um, Let's see. The Splash Potion of Harming. I think that's what we use against these guys. So we just throw that. Hurts us too, but that's fine. We get all their drops and all their experience. So yeah, there we go. And we got a chest here full of string. Oh yeah, we got tons of string. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so there's that. I just wanted to check that out. So yeah, it's good to see that that's still working very well. Um, still need to kind of clean this up a little bit, I guess. And need to finish this hallway. What I'll probably do is make another, make a minecart, uh, kind of like the one to the skeleton spawner, and we can have like a minecart hub area in the center there, and uh, you know we can take a minecart to get to the skelly farm or a minecart to get to the cave spider spawner farm. So I think that'd be kind of cool. It's not very far away either. It's it's they're both pretty close. So anyway, let's head upstairs. I'm gonna drop off some of these tools. I don't want to just carry them around all the time, uh, just in case I die in lava which could happen and it looks like it's dark out which is great you know what it's, I was wondering it sounded kinda strange got the volume turned down really low alright so let's go back there we go alright so yeah everything's uh, kinda bright around here um, I'm probably gonna spend a bunch of time uh, removing more torches setting down more jack-o-lanterns and stuff um, all right. so let's take that 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 We'll leave that in there. We will put this guy in there. And we'll put that... Actually, let's take this, because I don't want to use that until there's uh, unbreaking on it. So we'll put that in there. <clears throat> we do have some unbreaking. So if we put that on that, that'll give us efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, fortune 3, which would be cool. I don't know if we have any of those. No, I think efficiency 4... Oh, there we go. There's one. Okay, so we do have one of those. All right, no big deal. Let's put these tools away can use those for repairing in the future. What? Get out of here. Huh. <clears throat> I guess mobs are still... I don't know if they're spawning out here, but they're definitely uh, spawning somewhere and coming into the base. Definitely going to have to light that up. But alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there for this episode. Uh, probably wasn't a very long episode, yeah I know. But uh, I just kind of wanted to recap some of the things that we've done and uh, let you guys know that I plan on continuing this series now. Uh, I was really worried that I had lost it all, but uh, yeah, obviously I didn't because here it is. So alright guys, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it.